So today we're going to talk all about how I've been balancing my 9 to 5 along with the other areas of my life. We're all given 24 hours in a day, but we are also only given 24 hours in a day. Welcome back to another video. I'm taking you guys along for a little day in my life today, as you can probably already tell. But this is the first vlog that I'm doing since I've started my new job. And today is a typical work day. I do work from home, which is something that I'm very grateful to be able to do. So I feel like I finally figured out a routine that still gives me time to do things for myself, time to do things that fill my cup and not stare at my computer screen all day long. So today we're gonna talk all about how I've been balancing my 9 to 5 along with the other areas of my life including YouTube and including fitness movement and all the things if you guys are new here by the way basically i have just started this position and before that i had basically taken a four month hiatus i quit my job and decided to just take time to focus on youtube focus on my passions do things that fill my cup etc so this is very much a shift back into like a routine especially because i was basically treating youtube as like my full-time thing for four months i had a lot of questions about like how i would readjust and also how i would would find balance again so this is basically to show you guys what my current routine looks like as you saw i did in fact wake up at 6 a.m i can confirm that i am a morning person now which is absolutely crazy because last year there was no way in hell that I was gonna get up before 8.30. And that was even when I had a job because if I work from home, you don't really have to commute, which is a luxury for sure, but it can also create some habits of not really getting up and doing stuff. And that would often make me feel like garbage at the end of the day, because I just woke up and started working, had no time to do anything for myself. So a big piece of how I've been creating balance is waking up earlier. Sometimes I'll go to the gym or sometimes I just wake up and I start reading because I really want to read or like today I decided to edit a video because I have a video that I want to finish in the next couple days and it's just time for me to do stuff for myself I do not try to use that time to work if I really need to I might but for the most part it's really just to work on things that I want to do and feel like I have control over my mornings and that's been such a game changer so I did a whole video about me making the transition to being a morning person that I will link in the description if you're interested but yeah that was the first week that I decided to wake up at 6 and then since then I've been a bit more forgiving with the alarm clock sometimes it's 6 sometimes it's 6 30 but for the most part it's like around that time I also made my to-do list i've used this a few times now and it's from the line basically it's just nice to have some priorities and to-do items and it's in a really simple format that i prefer i usually would try to do this the night before but a big thing i realized with creating balance is you gotta be flexible, especially when there's just things that are sometimes out of your control. And I think it's important for everyone to remember, it doesn't have to be super intense. Whatever productivity looks like for you is what works for you and that's what matters most. So with that, I'm gonna head off for a little walk with Bean. I think we're gonna get the day started shortly after that and log into work. <laughs> That was a nice little walk. It's actually such a sunny day today, which hasn't been happening that much because winter in Toronto slash Canada is typically very gray and gloomy and just not very inspiring to be honest. But as luck would have it, the day that I'm vlogging, it's actually nice. So typically when the sun is out, I like to sit in the kitchen area, which is where I am. The den is like over there. So there's no natural light in that 
little dungeon so I typically don't enjoy being there when there is sunlight because obviously I want to get as much natural light as possible my dog is drinking water just like with most salary nine to five jobs typically the hours can fluctuate depending on whatever is happening so I'm gonna get started I have like two meetings this morning the only thing is sometimes I want to use my other monitor because it's way bigger but we'll see I might end up going into that room. Let's get started with the day and I'll check in with you guys probably towards lunch or something like that. I just finished having a little lunch. To be honest, I'm not that big on eating lunch. I feel like because I'm just sitting down most of the day, I don't feel super hungry and I have a proper breakfast. That's why I usually don't have very big lunches or I'll do like a smoothie or something. But today I just had some toast, peanut butter, banana. Simple, easy peasy. And I have been working in the den because I needed my monitor. It really kills me because it's so nice and I just want to sit here, but sometimes you need to look at, you know, a bigger screen. Before I get back to work, I'm going to take my dog out quickly. That's Definitely something I want to keep trying to incorporate is just getting more steps in, getting more fresh air. If I have time at lunch, then I will definitely try to do that. Before I head outside, I'm actually going to get a little pick-me-up. I feel like at this time of day, I always hit like a little bit of a slump and I typically try not to drink too much coffee because especially at this time of day, I find it hard to sleep. I get really bad crashes and kind of jittery if I drink too much coffee so i've been loving these magic mind productivity shots so this is basically an energy shot that's matcha based i typically find matcha is way smoother for me than coffee i get jitters and stuff like i said so they had kindly sent this to me and i have really been liking it it comes with adaptogens nootropics one of the ingredients is Ash ashwagand i cannot pronounce it but i know it is really good for you and then like i said matcha so in this little shot you get the perfect serving size and i've just been enjoying this in the afternoons like so cheers some of the key benefits are helping with productivity, boosting your concentration, avoiding brain fog, honestly all the things that I struggle with in the afternoon sometimes. Thank you so much to Magic Mind for partnering with me on this. You can get a discount with my code. I'll put all the details on the screen. Make sure to check it out in the description. With that said, let's go out for a walk, get the steps in, enjoy the sunshine, and continue with the day. I'm feeling really good though about everything I'm getting done. It's been productive and yeah. Oh, also, I have some packages that arrived downstairs, so you're gonna wanna see what I got. So the thing I thought that was here didn't actually arrive yet. I ordered a new lens for my camera, which is what I'm using. And I don't know if I'll have a video up by now, but I got a new camera. <laughs> I got the Sony a6700. I do intend to talk in depth about this decision and everything in the video that I still need to make. But part of that is also getting a lens for the camera that I really wanted. And I got it open box, which is always my recommendation if you are trying to get something for a bit cheaper, then there's usually stuff that is open box that you can find. But long story short, it's not here and it said it was supposed to be here. But instead of that, I ended up just getting a couple of things that I needed anyways. Basically an Amazon haul, but I got a memory card. This is the type that I've been using. It is V60, which is basically basically just a higher grade that this type of camera needs. It's actually recommended between V60 and V90, depending on the file format that you choose. And then I also just got some more eyelashes. If you guys don't know, I do my lashes at home. So these are the ones that I always use. And then the last thing I also got from Amazon, I was really contemplating whether or not to get this, but I actually have a trip coming up this coming week and I will be vlogging it, but I wanted some pants. It's actually a work trip. I hope these fit me, but they're just like these pleather straight leg pants. It's actually kind of funny because I was just talking to my manager about what to wear next week. Here's the thing, okay? I've talked about this in my other videos. I am not a... I'm not a fan of the aesthetic of like a corporate girly. I think it looks great on some people. For me, I am definitely like more business casual type of beat. I just can't see myself wearing a full pantsuit or, you know, 
that type of look I just can't take myself seriously in it and I don't think it's anything to do with the style I think it can look so good on people I just need something that looks put together but not so intense so I feel like we have like a dinner or something that I might wear these to. Before I come on that trip, I'm gonna get back to work and then we're gonna finish the afternoon strong and then I am gonna go to the gym right after work. <laughs> back from the gym my hair is an absolute disaster right now and i desperately need to take a shower but i have a very specific order that i need to do things in my dog needs to get walked i need to make dinner and then i can enjoy my hair shower i would say that i prefer going to the gym after work because when I work from home, which is basically all the time, there's no separation from the work day to the rest of my day. Physically, I'm in the same space. I can change where I'm sitting, but it's the same apartment unit. So it's not like I'm really leaving physically the place of work. Honestly, I still much prefer working from home. All that to say, I like going to the gym after I finish work because it's like I'm actually going somewhere else. It does take more effort because I remember when I worked in the office before 2020, it was part of my routine. I would finish work at the office and then I'd have my gym clothes packed with me. It was a whole thing. It feels like a distant memory at this point and honestly, if it works for you, it works for you, but this is like my version of it now where I want to go to the gym after I finish work and then I can get the rest of my adulting done and get some cooking done. I'm gonna make some dinner now and yes, I will be in my sweat until I finish cooking, eating, walking my dog because I just feel like once I shower, like that's, that's it, I'm done for the day. There is some minced turkey, I think. I do live with my boyfriend, he's out of town, hence it is dinner for one and I'm kind of in like my health kick right now. I don't usually eat not healthy foods, but I gotta say, sometimes the temptation to order outweighs the motivation to cook. But lately, I've been feeling really motivated to make food, and I just feel like having some simple, easy recipes. I'm not Gordon Ramsay over here, but something simple, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, also, I forgot to mention before I start making my dinner, this is my third time going to the gym this week. And I lifted a total of 10,450 pounds, which is equivalent to a pickup truck. That's the total volume. I use Heavy, by the way. If you haven't heard of it before, highly recommend. All right, let's get to some cooking. This is the least aesthetic dinner possible, but we've got some turkey, some marinara sauce, chickpeas, which I roasted or I popped in the air fryer a couple days ago, and then some leftover rice. Honestly, this is really reminiscent of like my gym bro days, but we're gonna smash these macros. I am being sarcastic. Um, I'm actually gonna read this is what I'm currently reading, Remarkably Bright Creatures, and I haven't read it all today. You guys saw I was listening to an audiobook this morning. I typically like to do that when I'm going for a walk or when I'm getting ready and stuff because I obviously can't read. And I'm realizing I prefer nonfiction audiobooks, but like a fiction book, you just gotta read, in my opinion, to each their own. I know it's time consuming, but that's the whole point is I enjoy the process of not scrolling on my phone, not watching something on social media. And this is what I look forward to the most sometimes. have this internal discussion with myself before I wash my hair. I know it's gonna take me a good 30 to 40 minutes. It's a whole process, especially cause I have so much hair, <laughs> but nothing feels better than taking time to take care of yourself. And that's actually one of the next things I wanted to talk about as we wrap up the day. I am gonna do some editing because it's something I kind of need to do for a video going up in a couple days, but I haven't really looked at my to-do list and it's been a theme for the last 
few days sorry if you hear snoring by the way my dog is going crazy oh my god actually let me just tell you i was with him outside and he was barking in the corner of like this little park area and all of a sudden i just see this creature sitting there and it's a raccoon toronto is notorious for crazy amount of raccoons but i haven't seen them that often so i honestly started like screaming his name i thought he was gonna end up on the news tomorrow or something for being eaten by a raccoon but i don't even think raccoons are nasty like that but <laughs> that was pretty funny anyways back to what i was actually talking about is my to-do list so i feel like with my list one of the biggest learnings for me as i've gone back into the workforce back into the nine to five life was trying to come to terms with how much time I actually have in a day because I went from my full time being consumed with YouTube basically and content to then taking up like this much time with my job. I've been loving my job by the way. I am so grateful for this opportunity. I haven't said yet but I work in basically advertising technology so ad tech despite absolutely loving it it's still an adjustment and not in the sense that it's hard to balance but i just wasn't realistic with what i'm actually able to do in a given day and i wanted to speak on that in case anyone feels like it's hard to manage a lot of things and sometimes you look at people that seem like they have it all figured out most people don't there's only so much time like we were all given 24 hours in a day is what we always hear and that is true but we are also only given 24 hours in a day if that makes sense so you're gonna have to figure out what your priorities are and how you're gonna be able to make it work for me waking up early has made a huge difference because i feel like i'm able to start the day knocking off some of the biggest items on my list or i'm able to start the day and reframe and reset my mindset to focus my energy in a more intentional way than i was before because i would just wake up and feel like i have to start work now like i have two minutes to log on to this call and then i'm just starting the day with so much anxiety and rushing to get things done without thinking about my intentions without thinking about like what i want to do what i want out of this day and it's very easy when you have a lot of things happening to get caught up in just going through the motions and i truly believe if you can take some time to think about what makes sense and how you can start to adjust certain things it might not be a 6 a.m wake up routine for everybody i totally recognize that but it is just about like trying to figure out what works best for you all that to say i haven't really looked at this that much today because i'm trying to be more focused on like a few key things and even though it's nice to have a list to check things off that i still love to do i don't want to make my whole day focused on checking things off of a list because if i am focused on that then i get really anxious about not checking a lot of things off and sometimes days just don't go the way that you hope that they would so yeah i guess it's just a little open dialogue about productivity and balance it doesn't always look like what people portray it to look like online the other point i was gonna say around washing my hair or doing things to take care of yourself I didn't put that on my list today, but I definitely should have. Not because it's like I need to check it off, but it's actually something I was talking to my therapist about because I am going to therapy now. But she was just saying, if you're going to put all these other things on the list, then don't forget to put things on the list to take care of yourself as well. And don't forget to put things on your list that you have fun doing. Those are just as important. That's why things like making my dinner were on my list, going for a walk were on my list, and I accomplished those things. Vlogging my day, I've been doing that and I've been loving it and having fun and I have a couple more things to do. I still want to edit more of my video, but otherwise I'm feeling really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this first vlog of me in my current routine. Let me know if you guys have any tips of your own of how you try to manage or balance your schedule. And I hope that, you know, if you can take one thing away is just to appreciate what balance looks like for you and not try to strive to do every single thing all the time because it never really works out. With that said, we're gonna get some editing done and enjoy the rest of my night. Bye.